Class is starting. Well... What's going on? Hey! of my time. Please hear me out.
see you. Quite nice.
All right. Wanna head back? Everyone. You. Hmm. What did you say?
you. See you again. Hey, hey. Nice work. Oh my god. Pressure's been dropping. Ah, yes. I'm sorry. Ah, yes. 
I'm sorry. Yes. Let us go. Alright. 
easy win. They were nothing.
Joker took one out. Yeah. Right. Persona. Hola, you can't do this. Hey now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Getting through. Okay. This is horrible. Persona! Hmm. Yeah. 
What a skill! This is horrible!
doing good.
Monica. For you. Pass the baton and fall Persona! Off. <laughs> Who's next? Hmm. Nice work, team. All right. That enemy was...
Okay. That enemy was really weak.
chest. Intel is the most important. Keep your eyes peeled during the day. I've been doing that. But now people are saying I look like even more of an asshole than before. Oh, mister! Hey, mister! Just at this. Oh. Humidity is overwhelming.
true. They will be reborn anew. Do you wish to perform it? What path do you want? I see. A strong persona indeed. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive a fraction of... Then let us begin. Done already? What? For now, if you'd like to read the compendium, these are the paths you have walked. You'll withdraw this. This is your power. Such rude. Are you finished? What? No slacking off.
take a look around. Take care. If you wish to perform an execution, let us begin the search. Not terrible, but not impressive. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. It will receive sign- <laughs> I see. You'd like to read the compendium? You want to register it? Are you finished? What? No slacking off! Coincidence.
What do you think? Fine. Gracious! Her boyfriend stopped abusing her? I don't believe it. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Well... You certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. This is a very serious issue on my end. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. You will? Really? Okay then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the fortune persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Um...
Really? What would you like? you like? Hey there. So this equipment...
Nice. All right. All right. Want to head back? Rain, huh? Hey, hey! Thank you. See you later. Good morning. It's hot again today. Konoshiro's deadline is drawing near. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. If you say so, then. Yes, I'm sure it'll go well. Yep, yep. Do you know the answer?
chance. for the meal.
Let's do it. Yes? Can I help you? Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Sorry, I just can't. Well then... Um, so, you like Shogi? Huh? Oh, um, thank you very much. Um, okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. I'll start. So this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate no matter how you look at it. Please concede. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Well then... That will be all for today. If it's all right with you, may I request another match sometime? I feel a gambler's spirit emanating from you, which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? Thank you very much. Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power.
right. Okay, let's end here for today. Thank you for today. Until next time. Change your mind. You'd like to. These are the paths you have walked. A fee is required. This is your power. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate.
wait! What? Read here. This persona, you can hold no more personas. Ready? What?
You s- You'd like to- These are the paths you have walked. If you withdraw this persona, this is your path. You left- Done already? What? No slacking off! Besides, I'm, uh... Who cares? No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. yes, yes. He's absolutely right. Right, right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. Thieves. 
Damn it. Now everyone. Yeah! Kaneshiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly... There was a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too. By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive. Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party. Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> and that's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. Uh... What's wrong? Hello? I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. 
For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? <sighs> Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it! I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really... was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Ah, you're back.
Hey. What will you do? Speaking of which... Be ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto? Just tell me the truth. Makoto. That's preposterous. If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kanashiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you shifting blame to this other person, you know. Hmm. <laughs> 
But why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? <sighs> then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Judgment Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. Actually, I should rephrase that. They targeted your group first, didn't they? The identity of your opponent is this. We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Check the ingredients in the fridge. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it? Okay, I'll be right over. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. Lock up for me if I don't come back. Something like that. <laughs> what a handful. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Ah, uh, Madorame, was it? They punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so, too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? See, even he says that they're doing good. Oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. Yes, I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public support of them either. There's also the danger of the Metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. We'll set things up, 
so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. Ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, to think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, we'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a select few are worthy of changing the world. And who better than the future Prime Minister, sir? us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. Even you're saying such things? Let's leave those guys be. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here, but what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. That's... that's terrible. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same, too. I mean, <laughs> it's not as bad as this guy's, though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me! I know, I know. We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? That's the secret. Ah, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exams? Not really. It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I'm just joking. Please teach us. It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often, though. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Duh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. Uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <sighs> Why don't we take a break? And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. This case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. If they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws? Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass! Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. 
When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. We just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. Wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me! The celebration party! Weren't we gonna do it after exams? Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. The last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Huh? A buffet? Mm, where would be good? Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! Oh yeah, it's that season, huh? <laughs> that sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but... I'll take the beauties of summer. Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Do you guys own a yukata? Will you wear a yukata? Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? Uh, you think so too, right? Come on, you gotta be more active! Alright, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> is a convicted criminal, yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. Wow! Yep. Mm -hmm. refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? Oh, thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, 
Their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. How about you? This is it. That's right. Hey, are you listening? surprise are you headed home too same here I don't have club practice today that reminds me there's something I wanted to report to you would now be a good time thank you why don't we find a seat somewhere huh and you are it's been quite a while Akechi san and the same for you Yoshizawa san right works at a TV station. 
Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweetbread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd-pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of a TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second years got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then. What do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? I have to agree. It was quite inspiring for myself as well. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? 
I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Everyone. Everyone. However, Thank you. I'm glad.
I shall see you again soon. Quiet down. Do you know the answer? It's open. Welcome. Excuse me. It was nothing. No. Good. Yes. I see. No. Quite.
Hello. Did you say? Could this be? Let us return home. Ah, you're back. 
Hey! Everyone! And while our society appears to be prosperous, many of our young people are quietly suffering. They lack jobs, security, savings. The next generation will lead us into the future, and yet they have no plan for how to arrive there. Watch where you're going, you little shit. You bumped into me, you old goat. This isn't good. Yes, let's. Good citizens, please stop fighting! What is the point of bickering over such a trivial matter? This is none of your business! Yes, yeah, seriously, just shut up. What's with this guy? Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must return to my speech. Together, we can create a bright future for the next generation. Ah, uh, God. So righteous. That really annoys me. Enough of your arrogance, no good, Tora! What? As if anyone would actually vote for you! Are you planning to embezzle funds again? Or maybe criticize one of your constituents again? You criminal! No, no that, that was all in the past. <sighs> I've gone and done it again. There are many who would agree with that statement. Whenever someone calls me no good Torah, I panic. I went through quite an ordeal 20 years ago. Let me explain. I used to be a member of the National Diet. I was elected during the rise of the Kuramoto children. We were backed by powerful Diet members. This was about 20 years ago. I was very inexperienced back then both as a politician, as well as a human being. That inexperience led me to be involved in a series of major political scandals. People refer to my blunders as no good Taurus three strikes. The first was being caught missing a legislative meeting to take a personal vacation. Then, I was accused of embezzling a large sum of money from the party giving me two strikes. Finally, I called a voter an idiot at an open forum, which resulted in scandal and strike three. I was out and branded a washed up politician. You said you wanted to become a member of the Diet, but do you see the man before you?
Do you really want to receive my guidance? I'm happy to hear that. However, everyone says I have no chance to get elected. So why come to me? You mean giving speeches? I'm afraid I'm not so great that you'd be able to learn anything. Mm. The most important part about giving a good speech is believing in yourself. Perhaps one day I will believe in myself again. But you sure got me there. You're a strange young man. Very well. If learning how to give a great speech is what you seek, then I'd be happy to instruct you. In exchange, I would like for you to continue assisting me. Let's get started, shall we? Staging your crimes with calling cards. It's hard to believe that a student could manage this alone. An adult. For example, someone talented enough to move people with words. Perhaps they coached you. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Sun Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Let's pursue your dream of becoming a member of the Diet. Oh my, we've been talking for far too long. Let's call it quits for today. You. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Come on, man.
Now everyone. Let's get started. Sam, I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there, congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway. As I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep, that's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? 
Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Well, I can't deny that. Plus, it's a bit different from changing our hearts, now that I think about it. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kinda feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say... 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. Go to bed. Hey, it's me. Come on, man. So, like, Turn in for the night. What's up? Hmm. Well, why? why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now, and I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass! I totally want in! 
Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah, what do we do? Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us! Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up, make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Uh, anyway... Since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh... I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> well, uh... Thank you very much for your time. Oof, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! My kebab! The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat! Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out! I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. <laughs> even with this sticky sweatiness included. Well, I came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? They barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah. Uh. Well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Hmm. Huh. Well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. 
Senpai? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Delicious. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she... died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai, thank you for being so thoughtful. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> My mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. Ah, you're back. What did you say?
out. You'd like to read that these are the paths you have walked. You'll withdraw this persona and accept such rude. You're done already? What? No slacking off! Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? What could he mean by an insane group? Mm. Well, let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Damn, it's so hot. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. Oh, it's so hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, 
the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we... getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji? Uh, well, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. You need help? Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. Made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? Right? I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to... Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet. Yeah, that's obvious. It's past closing time. Clean up the place.
Unfortunately, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry, or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Can't you even take part in small talk? You should have more interest in what's going on with the world. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear, due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. World-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos.
All right. and the baby, you'll lose them both. Or I could save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. That's incredible. Busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly.
Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? What would you like? I don't know. 
So we still don't have any tangible clues. right now? Next time then. You got time right now? <laughs> Next time then. Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end. And through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? People with common sense would think that. Is that your personal opinion, too? Still, the vast majority are simply entertained by it. They've stopped thinking critically altogether. So this is what the public thinks. Oops, I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Get it. Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Who is this? 
Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person Mejet? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them, that is. Only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? with a big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm is that a new face I see it's nice to meet you my name is Makoto Nijima I hope we're not being a bother she's our student council president Nijima is something wrong no it's nothing a student council president eh? <laughs> I'm stunned I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. 
Medjid also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjid as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by, in case anything comes up. Oh, dear. He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Mm. I should write something.
drone's buzzing. Uh, it's just Ryuji. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. What's up? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit.
Yo, tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Up until now, our biggest lead seems to be... The Chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry, come again. Hmm, we didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly.
You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. <laughs> You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off! What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. But that's enough! Just behave yourself, and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the door up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. 
She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I don't want to doubt, but Alibaba did hack his phone to ask for the Phantom Thieves' help. Is it Alibaba? Person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we'll need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. down this doesn't make any sense not only can alibaba not go out but he won't let us meet futaba either well it's none of our business now we can't contact him anymore but what do we do about medjed we won't be able to get alibaba to help us with them now maybe they were just pranking us they made that huge declaration but they ain't done nothing since <laughs> i bet we got them freaked out you mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Nice. Mm. 
Okay. You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Flounder is out of this world. Mm. That texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Hey, is the fatty 
tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk! By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait! You think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It... Crap! Uh, um, the th th fan fantastic This sushi is delicious! Y yeah The fish is so fresh! <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these Phantom Thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. M me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. 
You always find a way to rise above my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what? The hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... It may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblon? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Oh, the gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go opening other people's stuff like that. But, but look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. I wonder why. That's rather careless. 
It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. My apologies, boss. Hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry. Uh, can I? Hold your hand. I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No. No. My legs won't move. nowadays get that close to each other? Uh, that's not it! This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. Huh. <sighs> I do that sometimes, because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. <sighs> I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but... 
always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes, she committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... She wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What I desire, huh? Look, I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. 
So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana... I should write something. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the Chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? I can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? That should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what 
What a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? I can't. assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? All right, let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? That's not important! I'm talking about my memories here! I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? You sure live up to my expectations.
way. They went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Maybe an oasis? Have not Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? Conditions have not been met. Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan! Are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Looks like you should ask something different. Looks like you should ask some. What? Die? Think that's it? Try entering tomb. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? 
Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? There we go. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping! For real? You are so half-assed! What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up! It's hot, so don't make me more irritated! <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead? Hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh, man. Feel it. It seems 
Indeed. Okay. Yes. Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something! Don't be like that! I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those, Those who, who plunder, plunder my tomb. Why, why have, have you, you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it... Then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Our clothes! She sees us as a threat now. What's going on?
Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyberterrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this.
Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Nice. Hey. Okay. What did you say? All right. I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh, yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. 
Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshida's. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. The palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough to know the city layout. But Futaba probably doesn't. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true-to-reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. Huh? Okay, let's go! Let's give it our all, Joker! Are you leaving? Come back here. Let's talk for a moment. Welcome back. I had thought I would never see you again. Yeah, oh, uh, I wonder why. I can't believe you tried to crush us with an effing boulder. You want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? Hmm. 
Why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Shadow identified. Await I'll reveal your oh, true you? form. True form.
I have something. Joker! This is the 
Groups aren't getting through. This is the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That is a map of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in his ransacking of this place. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come further in and... Oh. What in the... Huh? A Futaba-chan dis... God damn it! it! <clears throat> Is this... Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! You guys still alive? Ow. First a boulder, then this. Uh, did we piss her off somehow? I don't think it has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Simple defense mechanism. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futabachan open the door to her heart. I have no objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. Yeah. 
kill. Okay. That's all it I takes for it. me. Shadow identity. I'll reveal your true form. Just what I'd expect. 
great for you, Joker. Okay. Focus. We're done here. bother with. There's a shadow. It's Show me your true form! Let's go! Let's go! Someone finish it! Persona! Alright! Persona! for me! Persona! 
Pilot win! <laughs> Persona! Looking to kiss the fight! Persona! All according to play! Oh, you want more? This is my other self! Tenacious. <laughs> Here it comes! Let's rock! Fist of the Phantom Star! Sorry! Sorry. bother with. There's a treasure chest. Go, Joker. Write something. Reveal your true form. This is my other self. Nations. Come. All right. Persona. Someone finish it. Come on, 
strike! We got him on the ground! Freeze! I knew you could do it, Fox! Everyone, with me! Finish him! Skeletons in your closet, don't think so. The enemy is electrified. Ah! The enemy may work, but you might get shocked. This is a holdup! Words aren't getting through. <laughs> what a skill! Okay. A decisive <sighs> victory. To play. A spectacular victory! Okay. Let's hurry ahead. I have something. Focus. Nothing. your true form.
Okay. That was an easy win. Let's go, Joker. Careful. Show me your true form. Let's go. That shadow was crazy. Come on, strike. Ooh, very nice. We got it. Boom, time. Contact. Not like over the air. Johanna. Enemy is annihilated. No time to waste. Queen, you're so awesome. All right. Huh? That was a little too easy. Focus. Shadows need. Show me your true form. Let's go. That one is no joke. Be careful. Tough. Oh, what was that? Come on, Johanna! Yes! 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 Okay. Huh? Hmm. That was a little too easy.
see it. My soul into this bowl. Now that's what I'm talking about. I, I'm trying to eat you. Order up. That was ridiculous. Johanna. Knock down, Queen. You have them on the rope. Learned a 
easier than clean.
I'll reveal your true form. Persona! This is no joke. Be careful. Reveal your true form. Persona! That shadow is crazy! the next A trial. spectacular victory! Okay.
Joker. Indeed. I should write something. here. You notice?
There's a shadow up ahead. The shadow is near. I'll reveal oh, your oh, true you. form. that Will be nullified, so be careful. It's time. New way. Calm down. <laughs> All right. I'll use my persona. Knock down, please! This you have on the rope! Let's wipe them out! Take the lead! Persona! Not bad! I'll get the next one. It's immune to cursing. 
curse. I had hoped we could end this quickly. Come! No. This could be tough. Blood skills will be nullified, so be <laughs> all according to plan. Let's go. Okay, guys. Let's do this. No holding back. Let's rock, fist of the Phantom Star. Sorry. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Gain new power. Okay. That was so it. easy, I'm yawning.
Persona! Violet wins! Nice, Joker! That's their weak spot. We're done here. Let's go. Hmm. Nice work, team. Okay. I felt the difference in strength in that fight. Hey. for me. Not that. 
No. Vicious foe. Attack with psychokinetic skills. Zona. Persona! Victory.
But what is it a picture of? This adult seems to be reading something to a crying child. Hmm. The emotions of the artist are oft depicted in the art they produce. I can sense serious pain harbored in her heart. I should, I should never, never have had Futaba. Is that voice coming from the mural? She was, she always, was always such, such a bother. It seems, seems you, you caused your mother a great deal of trouble of Chava Chan. She must, she have, must had have had some, some kind of maternity neurosis. on its contents, it sounded almost like a suicide note. Could that be what Futaba remembers of her mother's suicide? But that's the shittiest thing to do to a kid if that's really how it all went down. here in this secure spot. I'll just add this. Okay, let's move on. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and soul. Alarm time! Prepare for the- This is an alarm fusion. Thing you need. <laughs> Choose which skills to inherit. Let us see what powers will emerge. Both of you to work.
It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. You okay with this? It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. Choose which skills to inherit. Let us see what power be reborn. Yawning.
Looks like. Well, it looks like.
The same mechanism as the one we saw before. Then we just gotta touch it and make something happen, yeah? Come on, let's try it out. Oh, hey, it came on. Huh, this one's kind of hard to tell, though. It must be scrambled as well. Let's use the controls to put it back together. Seems the picture is complete. Is she jumping in front of a car? Could this be the moment when Futaba's mother committed suicide? Hmm? Another voice. right in front of Futaba's eyes. That's horrible. So did her desire to forget those memories cause her to repress them?
Reveal your true form. over there. You've got a good nose for those, Joker. I'll reveal your true form. Wow! That shadow was crazy! Let's go. The recommended target is any enemy who has a stab down Nice, Joker! Right in their weak spot.
This place is a I should write something. Okay. I can see it. Reveal your true form. Now let's keep going. Hmm. 
well. Reveal your Ooh, true you. form. Mission here is weak. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body and A long soul. Time, inmate. One of my get ready for this. It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable.
choose which skills to inherit. I cannot expect any to be reborn. Is this something you need? Do you really need this? Is this something you need? Okay with this? Choose which skills to inherit. This should be get a respect. <laughs> I see. We're here. I should write something. Reveal your true form. I recommend attacking any enemy who has a stack down some other way. Strong and impervious to nuclear attack.
Nice going, Skull. Let's tear them apart. Okay, guys. Let's do it. Slip. All right. Done and done. Let's move on. Win. Let's go, Joker. I have something. Power. Joker. Oh. Nice. It exploded. 
Let me handle this. Yeah. yeah. On the ground. Nice going, Don't Skull. Let's go. Okay. They were nothing. All right, a chest! Joker, it's a treasure chest! Reveal your true form. What the hell are you playing? Let's go. The first move is ours. Yeah. We recommend attacking any enemy who has a staff hmm. scale move. Persona. Yeah. Yeah. Rip Persona. Oh, oh skull, you're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Going. Less skills will be nullified. So oh, down. That the whole edible Joker. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's go. A gift as beautiful as you. Gorgeous. I won't let it go to waste. <laughs> Won't work right now. That won't work right now. Let's tear them apart. This will end it. That's all she wrote. This new skill suits me. Okay. Good work. Keep it up. Oh! Might be close by, Joker. What? Huh. Let's do it.
something else. It's strong and guns won't help. The enemy is strong, but it's powerful. You'll want fierce ice attacks. This will be tough. Blood skills will be nullified, so be careful. Sona. Some other way. Persona! Violet win! Let's do this! Let's go, Captain! We're on the ground! Nice going, Kiko! Finish him! <laughs> Persona! Persona! Okay. Persona! Yeah. <laughs> 
treasure chest. There's a treasure chest! Oh! There's a treasure chest! Oh! <laughs> 
Zero. Two of you are a team up and do a killer move. Power courses through me. Grasp your new power! Another will seed. Somewhere. And it looks like that's the last one, too. display on the front wall now, right? I'd expect so. Joker, if you please. Wait, what? I can't even begin to tell what this one is. It may be a rather difficult puzzle for us to solve. Mother's clothes? Mom? Mom? More voices. I'm 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 tired, I'm tired of eating dinner alone all, all the time. time. It's always it's always just convenient, convenient for bentos. bentos. I wanna I wanna go somewhere. somewhere. Take me, Take on, a me trip. on a trip. The one clinging to her mother would be Futaba Chan, right? You know, you I'm, know working I'm working hard, hard to support, to support you, right? you, right? Pretty angry. Is that the maternity neurosis the voice from earlier mentioned? I thought it was pretty normal for a child to want to spend time with their parents, though. Yeah, looks like Futaba was a pretty lonely kid growing up. So these incidents compounded, forcing her mother to suicide. I must die. Huh? I killed her. That's why I'm here in this tomb. Don't say that! I will die. futaba -chan! Why'd she get so quiet all of a sudden? What happened to that snarky personality? Could her heart perhaps be growing weaker? We have to hurry and save her!
All right. Let's see. I should write something. All right. Hey, this ain't opening. Think there's a way to open it somewhere else? Hmm. This door... It looks familiar. Oh, Futaba's room! That's it! Why ain't it opening? It must be her cognition that no one can enter it. I'm surprised that you made it this far. Beyond lies the Pharaoh's chamber. So the treasure's through here? Indeed. However, you need my permission to open this door. Then open it for us! I cannot. You must have her invite you in. What the F? Ain't this your palace? What's she mean, Mona? The shadow is Futaba, but not Futaba herself. In other words, we need the real Futaba's permission. So we need to have Futaba-chan open her room and let us in? Considering that you made it all the way here, you may be able to do it. I guess we gotta return to reality for now. But I remember Boss saying that she won't let anyone in. Right. She's a serious shut-in. How will we convince her to allow us entry? Standing around here won't help. We'll just have to give it a try. That's what she wants, after all. I think that we should do it too, even if it means we have to force ourselves in. Someone sure is stoked about this. Hmm. We have no choice but to sneak in again. Joker, it's your call when we do this. Make sure you think of some excuses just in case Boss catches us. We're counting on you, leader. On that note, is everyone clear on what needs doing? Oh, that reminds me. Give me the calling card. The one Alibaba sent us. What are you going to do with it? We're the Phantom Thieves, you know. We gotta announce this. If the treasure's there when we get the room open, giving this to her will let us take it right away. Queen, help me think of what to write. I suppose. We got this covered. You decide on a good time we barge into a room. That's all you. Inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the gallows, used to strengthen persona abilities. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate! You certainly seem composed. The inmate needs our guidance. You wish to perform a fusion. Excessive power only leads to destruction. You okay with this? Do you really need this? Power requires sacrifice. Hmm. 
that will do. Power requires sacrifice. Do not expect much power from this. This is what the Persona... Let these powers unite. requires sacrifice. Hmm. That will do. Done already? What? Done already? What? It is time, inmate. Okay. There you have it. Sounds like a pretty important task got pushed on you. No point in thinking about it now, though. We have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. Yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. Well then. Nice. So humid. some time. So I could melt. <laughs> See you later. Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while.
Do you Time for some re- Change your mind. Just these are the- Is this what you- You lack patience. This person a fee is required. This is your power. Such rude. Done already. What? It is time, inmate. charge into Futaba's room. There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Huh? Don't pass out, okay? time. Sure, we're ready to go. Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay?
Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. That doesn't sound very nice, but I suppose it's the basic idea. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? Whoa! whoa! Huh, who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth... Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? <sighs> if so... I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Ten seconds. Fine, but if Boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science. Information technology, biology, psychology... We, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Wow, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? 
Who are you? Uh... Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive... science? Futaba... What was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so... You know. True. She did say things like... Die. Hold on. Futaba-chan. Did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... One who killed her was... Uh... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? D did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Hmm. 
Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again?
man, I'm starving. Allow me. Oh, Some yeah! Sauce, a touch of red. Bon appetit. Oh, man, it's just what I want. Uh, uh, get out of my face! Can't you want this? <laughs> yes, it's all good. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay. Somewhere. Shadow defeat! 
defeated! That was easy, huh? I'll reveal your true form.
If I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu... Fu... Futaba Sakura? Sojiro Sakura's house. And then... Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! Your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Tomb in the chat, and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? No! You're a plague! I... You're the one who killed her! It's all your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Hell, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this.
Tell. You gotta tell us, Mona! I can't help it! There are some things that even I can't do! So this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's, That's correct. correct. Look at the next one. This... this is... When mom jumped in front of that car. That's, That's right. right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the phantom thieves. Okay. Oh, look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip, but she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. Uh... Did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ah! My head! It hurts! Which is true! Your memories. Huh? It's calling me? The hell? We ain't doing shit to it! Huh? Futaba? You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... That's... You killed her! No! Why don't you say something?! Fault. It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... That is right. You killed me! Wait, is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. Thank you. 
cognitive science? She committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. It's because I couldn't face myself or mom's death. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? Utaba-chan? <laughs> What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning. And yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault. This time you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! What is that? Contract. I am thou. Thou art I. 
The forbidden wisdom has been revealed. No mystery. No illusion shall deceive you any longer. Fujaba! I'm okay! Look at that! Please, help me! That's gotta go! that giant arrow thing, right? Mind if I do it? I can shoot. You want me to fight? I Mind if I do it? I can shoot it down. Leave it to me. Look the Melissa! Persona! anymore.
just a monster born from my own weakness. Everyone, keep attacking it! Don't let up! Let's go! You're dizzy! Your attacks might not connect! Who taught me that? 
I'd like to try this skill soon. Showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish, Mom. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? Should get going. <sighs> oh, right, Majed. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? <laughs> What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. Still alive? I thought I was gonna die and. Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <clears throat> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. What was that sound? Hmm? What, what are you guys doing out here? Oh, um. That reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. <clears throat> oh, I almost forgot. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Uh, okay, gotcha! Let's go see Futaba. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! Please! Could this be our fault? 
Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is gonna cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? That's not gonna solve anything. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! <sighs> oh dear. Uh, um, about Futaba... Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay, but what are we gonna do about Medjed? Uh, she's up! Uh, Medjed... Uh, uh, tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again?! Utama-chan! a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up, either. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. should do it for now.
There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjet. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. Inmate. I understand why you guys feel nervous, but we'll just have to wait for now.
Do you have... Just read here. A fee is required. This is your power. You left. Are you finished? What? How? Done already? What? It is time, inmate. then. Up. By the way, Wanna get going?
Hey. Let's go! What do you want to do? Sorry to bother you.
get going. Alone, alone. 
That'd be helpful. All right. Goodbye. Nice. So humid. I'll just add this. <laughs> 